Thank you for joining us for the Philadelphia Regional 2022 Media and Design Competition Award presentation. We would like to get started by introducing two of our fearless leaders in the Office of Informational Technology, Chief Information Officer Melanie S. Harris and Deputy Chief Fran Newberg. Good morning, Fran. How are you doing today? Good morning, Mel. I'm doing really well. How are you? I'm doing great as well. Do you know what today is? I do, and that's why I'm feeling so great. Today is our very first technology, media, and design tech competition. Yes, hard to believe that after 20 years, this is our first virtual event. And we're so excited that so many schools and students participated. Let me tell you the high schools that are participating today. Yes. We have Academy at Palumbo, Engineering and Science, Roxborough High School, Kensington Health and Science, and South Philadelphia High School. I would love to thank all of the teachers and all the students that worked hard to submit their projects today. We also have a few other schools that are participating. Mm -hmm. We have Sharswood, Fitzpatrick, Mayfair, Greenberg and Penn Alexander. And again, would love to thank all of the teachers and students, maybe even their parents participated in helping them. Thank you so much for participating. Yes. And you know, thank you again, as Fran just said, to these schools that are participating and participating in all the categories. I believe this year we are aligned to the state's categories exactly. perfectly. That's great. Mm -hmm. So we're so excited to see your examples in animation, web design, digital movie, the graphic logo, and of course, programming. Yes, very exciting. And we're so happy that you decided to participate. Good luck today. Good luck. Thank you, Melanie and Fran. Hi, I'm Tracy McGrath, Technology Program Specialist for the Office of Educational Technology. And I'm Jessica Q. Ross White, Director of Special Projects with the Office of Educational Technology. We're excited to be here with you today to highlight the brilliance of your creations in technology, media, and design. Today, we celebrate your perseverance, passion, push, and creativity in developing your projects. We'd like to give a special thank you to our sponsors, Visual Sound, PSTV and Worldgate for their continued support and contributions to this event, as well as to our judges for donating their time and talent. The success of today's event couldn't happen without you. This day also wouldn't be possible without the support of our super dedicated teachers that spent their time guiding you through creating these wonderful project submissions. To this, we say thank you. We'd also like to highlight and recognize a few teachers that received $100 Visa gift cards for registering early, teachers that submitted multiple projects in several categories, as well as a first-time advisor. Our $100 gift card winners for early bird registration goes to middle school teachers Pete Andrus and Lisa Gilday, high school teachers Christine Swift, Mike Jackson, Eric Weissman, and Debbie Bender. Our multiple submissions recognitions go to Lisa Gilday of Sharswood, who submitted three projects on behalf of her middle school students in three different categories. Eric Weissman of the Academy of Palumbo also submitted three projects on behalf of his high school students in three different categories. Kudos to Mike Jackson for being a first time advisor in the media and design competition. Congratulations, Congratulations to, to you all of you. you. Again, we say thank you for all of our teachers for your commitment and support to our students, ensuring they have multiple opportunities for learning. You are the true superheroes of the world. Now we'll hear our keynote from Celise Collier, Director of Business Systems Development for the School District of Philadelphia. Celise is a graduate of Rutgers and LaSalle Universities and has been a member of the SDP community for over five years. She's innovative, an expert web designer, and inclusive team leader for the district. Without further delay, let's welcome Celise Callier. Hello, I'm Celise Callier. Dr. Bruce Alberts, a prominent biochemist, once said, everybody is motivated by challenge and solving problems, and we don't make use of that in schools enough. Dr. Alberts may be correct, but I like to think as the world keeps advancing in technology, here in Philadelphia, our schools are adapting to the technology evolution and providing digital literacy to students to become builders and designers of technology to help solve problems. Digital literacy can open doors for new experiences, opportunities, and yes, even some challenges, but all with the goal for a better future. 
It is no doubt that technology has given us the access to resources that are needed to solve problems here in our community and globally. For example, did you know that environmentalists can now apply programming languages to solve climate change related issues for a better sustainable environment? Because technology is everywhere, there is a freedom of expression that comes with technology. So this is your chance for you to achieve something beyond your wildest dreams. I will admit that you will face roadblocks and challenges, but let that motivate you to reach your goals. Keep going. Believe in yourself. Get excited about what you're learning in the classroom and explore your surroundings. There are a lot of opportunities out there which you can explore. Google is at your fingertips. Coding tutorials are readily available and open source systems are unlocking ever expanding possibilities to solve big problems. You can be a leader. You do have what it takes to be great. Stay focused, ask questions, and even when you get an answer, ask more questions. Your teachers believe in you, I believe in you, because you are part of what makes the future incredible. As students in this competition, you have shown yourself and your peers that with a little creativity and the help of technology, anything is possible. In all aspects of our lives, there is a need to embrace technology in and out of the classroom. You have stepped up to the challenge, and for that, I am so proud of you. In the words of Jim Henson, if you care about what you do and work hard at it, there isn't anything you can't do if you want to. Thank you. Thank you, Celise, for that wonderful, powerful, and encouraging message. Thank you for pushing the understanding and importance of our students being the creators of technology. We appreciate all you do for our STP community. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Drum roll, please. Woo! Time to recognize and celebrate all the hard work you've done. Your principals and advisors are super proud of you, and so are we. You've created some magical projects, so let's rock and roll. Tracy, I think you have some winners to announce, don't you? I sure do. I can't wait. So, I would like to start with our middle and high school winners in the animation category. Our middle school animation winners are, in first place, Mayana Sabalowskis and Ryan Greco of Sharswood School. Our high school animation winners are, in first place, Yen Wee Wu, Shannon Darsono, and Caitlin Ram Nareen of Carver Engineering and Science High School. Let's take a look at the short animation created by this team. Well done. Congratulations to the students of Sharswood and Carver Engineering and Science High School for placing and winning in the animation category. You will be representing Philadelphia in the state media and design competition. I have the privilege of announcing the middle school winners for digital movie. This is a close category with a difference of 600 of a point. Our middle school digital winners are Second place, Mansoor Ali and Dylan Casaras of Fitzpatrick School. Good job. Let's take a moment to look at our second place winner's movie.
plus 3. 7 4 plus 3 equals 7 Our first place winners are Ashley Rodriguez Zarangi and Tiffany Zhang of Mayfair School. Awesome job. Let's take a moment to now look at our first place winners movie. In the beginning of time, in a galaxy far from others, Earth lies in chaos. A pandemic sweeps the planet and over five million are gone forever. Now, a jingle brought to you by the Mayfair News. Oh, vaccine, 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 it's made of mRNA. And if you're five and older, come get your Saturday. Oh, vaccine, 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 it is completely free. Saturday at Mayfair, stop by from 10 to 3. Come get your COVID-19 vaccine right here at Mayfair Elementary. This Saturday from 10 to 3 p.m. To register, text READY to 267-328-5378 or visit CHOPVAX.com. Dot chop dot edu. All sports participants must be fully vaccinated to participate in school sports. Those under 18 must have a parent or guardian provide verbal consent either in person or over the phone. See, See you, you there. there. Congratulations again Fitzpatrick and Mayfair for placing and winning in the digital movie category for both teams did an amazing and excellent job. Congratulations, Mayfair, as you will be representing Philadelphia with your digital movie in the State Media and Design Competition. Now it's time to announce the high school winners for the graphic design and logo. Our high school winners for graphic design and logo are in second place, Christopher Nguyen of Carver Engineering Science in High School. And in first place, Estefania Morales and Aldolfo Perez of South Philadelphia High School. Congratulations to South Philadelphia High School for placing and winning in the graphic design and logo category. Your graphic design and logo will be representing Philadelphia in the state media and design competition. As we move forward, I have the pleasure of announcing the middle school and high school winners for programming. Our middle school winners for programming are, for first place, Charles Harris and Damian Meltzer Zirkin of Penn Alexander School. Our high school winners for programming are, first place, Alan Wang and Jason Reyes of Academy at Palumbo. Congratulations to Penn Alexander and Academy at Palumbo for placing and winning in the programming category. You will both be representing Philadelphia in the state media and design competition. Last but certainly not least, we would like to announce the winners for the web page design. Our middle school winners for web page design are in middle school, first place winners are Leila Alvarez and Shui Tan of Sharswood School for Explore New York website. Our high school winners for the web page design category are in second place, Mitchell Lapaya Flores, Lyndon Gavin, and Sweeney Ho of the Academy of Palumbo for their website design of a map of Palumbo. In first place, William Waterschlager Hood, Sol Young, 
and Maya Snipes of Roxborough High School for developing their Rockstar PBIS website. Congratulations to Roxborough and Charleswood School for winning the web page design category. Your web page designs will be representing Philadelphia at the state media and design competition. We are now at the conclusion of our award ceremony. Congratulations to all of our teachers and awardees for your hard work. This has been a wonderful experience celebrating your projects and schools. You should be very proud of yourselves. We would like to thank our sponsors, Worldgate, Visual Sound, and PSTV for helping us make our first virtual media and design competition a success. We also can't forget all of our school leaders and advisors for your daily push for our students and families in the district. We hope you enjoyed your time with us today and we look forward to seeing you all and many others next year. Take, Take care, care, everyone. Congratulations again to our first place winners who will be representing Philadelphia at the State Media and Design Competition. Advisors, I will be sending you more information soon regarding the details of that event. Just wanna say thank you.